an object moving freely from one point to another will take a path of least action. Imagine throwing a ball. It will go up, then come down in an arc. And it will do this every time. But how does every ball know to take the same path? Why doesn't it take some wibbly-wobbly imagined path? The reason is that the ball is lazy. It wants to take the path of least resistance and waste as little energy as possible. If you were to calculate the kinetic energy from speed at every point on the path and subtract from that the potential energy from its height, the number you would get is called the action and you would find that this action is the minimum for the true path that the ball takes. So if everything is about a minimum path, then why doesn't the ball just travel in a straight line? Why does it arc? Well, at a high point where we have a lot of potential energy, the quantity of kinetic minus potential is negative. And because we care about the average over the whole path, a negative value will bring our average down, which is what the ball wants. On the other hand, you can't go up too far because that would involve a lot of kinetic energy. You have to go fast to get up so high. It turns out that the solution is a balance between trying to get a lot of potential energy with the least amount of extra kinetic energy possible. The principle of least action was one of physicist Richard Feynman's favorite ideas. And one of the curious things about it is wondering how the ball or the object knows which is the path of least action. Does it sniff out all of the neighboring paths? In the case of light, when we put blocks in the way so that the photons could not sniff out all the paths, we found that they couldn't figure out which way to go. And we got the phenomenon of diffraction. The light essentially spread out, taking every possible path. The amazing thing is that this is also true in quantum mechanics. A particle doesn't just take the right path, but it looks at all possible trajectories. If by having things in the way, we don't let it look, then we get an analogue of diffraction a probability that it could be found in a number of different places.